um, the vortexes in Arizona because these vortexes are connected to black holes. Black holes I've established as being portals. Portals that leads not only from space, but from in oceans. Because in the oceans, right, around us, surrounding us, are other civilizations behind these gates or behind these portals, so to speak, right? And inside of these portals, there are entities walking out from other planets. I'm going to say that again. Inside of these portals, in these oceans, and in these canyons, there are entities walking from other planets surrounding these vortexes. Because these vortexes are very magnetic, and the energy is very, very high. It's very powerful. It's very intense. And these extraterrestrials have residence in these canyons. The clouds that surround these environments in the canyons are artificial clouds that consist of surveillance by these extraterrestrials. They are watching. They distribute energy into the atmosphere. And at a certain time, if you are there, you breathe in this energy you pick up downloads. <laughs> but inside of these canyons, these vortexes are magnetically pulling on a pulse. And this pulse is between the sun and the inner earth. I spoke about the inner earth before. Because inside of the inner earth, right, there is a whole galactic of beings that cannot come on top of the earth. They can only exist on the surface by being near vortexes, which is connected to a vibration of black holes, which are portals, right? But other than that, they cannot exist on top of the earth because of the type of oxygen that exists here, right? And some of the trees is giving off vibrations that is against their whole anatomy. They are not fully developed for all air environment. Some of these entities live in an environment of plasma. They have to live, they, see, see the air that we breathe in consists of sound. And it's making a noise that coincides with helping us to be able to exist. So when it goes to the lungs and a sound hit our heart, the heart beat at a tone which coincides with that sound. These entities that is in the inner earth, the vibration of the oxygen, right, is not in tune with the organ that helps them to be able to exist here on top of the earth. There is also a dimension that is hidden in Arizona around these canyons where these things can peek out through the air and they can hide behind the air and they can see you, but you can't see it. You'll be able to feel them, but you have to get in tune with the vortex. See, there are ships flying in and out of the air. The air is very thick in certain areas of these canyons, but it's also very thin. But where it's very thick, the time is slow. So these beings can't really come into where the air is thick, but where it's thin, these entities can peek through the air and see you in the air, right? And they can peek through it, but they can't come through as physical beings. They have to come through in the form of sound. And if you are in tune with the vortex, right? You'll be able to feel these entities around you moving. Speaking in the form of movement. Don't you know that movement is a form of communication?